This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. Fire Nation Fashion Most fashions in the Fire Nation are colored red and accented with black, though colors ranging from yellow, gold, gray, brown, and white are also present. Layers of variously colored clothing and even pieces of body armor are common elements, though there is a significant gap between rich and poor, and different social classes wear different clothes depending on their wealth and power. One style popular with young women is midriff revealing tops and sandals are a common form of footwear. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over Fire Nation fashion. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Commoners and Peasants Commoners and peasants tend to wear fairly simple clothing, but even within this strata, styles can vary significantly depending on physical location, specific economic status, and occupation of the wearer. In rural or poverty-ridden areas, clothing tends to be more basic in design and not as brightly colored, as well as display more visible wear and tear. A prime example of this is the river village of Zhanghui, where many of the people earn their living by fishing and extreme poverty engulfed the town prior. In more cosmopolitan areas such as Fire Fountain City, clothing becomes more layered and elaborate and is typically kept in better condition. It is also typically colored in brighter shades of red, brown, and gold. There are also locations where clothing is the same for everyone, regardless of status or social importance. At the Boiling Rock Prison, all prisoners wear uniforms of simple reddish-brown tops and bottoms. School Uniforms Fire Nation schools follow strict uniform guidelines. The Fire Nation school that Aang joined had a uniform consisting of brown pants for boys and a brown skirt for girls, a shirt, a black and red vest, and a red sash marked with the school's logo. The school also had a policy against wearing head coverings indoors, though exceptions were allowed in certain circumstances. Swimwear As with all Fire Nation clothing, the style is linked back to their native element and possibly decorated with the respective nation's insignia. Two-piece bikinis are popular with female Fire Nation citizens, ranging in coloration from various shades of red to plain white with red details. Nobles Nobility wear clothing similar to the royal family with some exceptions. May's clothing, for example, is similar to a Vietnamese Ao Dai. Her outfit features a loose robe over wide pants, allowing for increased mobility. Tai Li's clothing also varies from the typical Fire Nation nobility to allow her to perform her acrobatic tricks. Tai Li wears a short shirt that reveals her midriff and knee-length baggy pants covered with a split skirt. Royalty The Fire Nation royal family is the richest and most powerful family in the Fire Nation. They wear the most elaborate clothing, which is usually a shade of red, and also sport royal armor. However, in times of mourning, white formal clothing is worn as white is the symbol of death in China. Royalty, Prince and Princesses The clothing of the Prince and Princess of the Fire Nation is also elaborate. For military matters, such as war meetings and battles, the Prince and Princess don a formal armor that is black and deep red with gold trimmings, accentuated with gold flame ornaments in their hair top knots. While not in public or in a war meeting, the Fire Nation royals usually wear more elaborate robes. Royalty, Fire Lord The Fire Lord is the ruler of the Fire Nation. He wears an ornate robe as a sign of his power and rank. The shape of his robes is quite distinctive, with spiked shoulders akin to Thai theatrical costumes, which aids in making the Fire Lord look powerful and imposing. In addition to his unique robes, he also wears the Fire Lord headpiece, an ornament in the shape of the Fire Nation insignia. Royalty, Phoenix King when Ozai proclaimed himself the Phoenix King, he wore an elaborate helmet and armor. The helmet was gold and black with a large jewel in the front. The armor Ozai wore was also decorative, resembling twin phoenixes with a cape that extended down to his feet. Top Knots Top knots are the most frequently seen hairstyle in the Fire Nation, worn by both men and women of all classes. Citizens often wear decorative headpieces in their top knots. Accessories Along with their clothing, Fire Nation citizens also wear many accessories. Royalty and nobility wear elaborate headpieces and golden necklaces, while the less well-off wear headbands and less elaborate headpieces. There are also handcrafts available in the Fire Nation, different from the ones in the Earth Kingdom in the sense that they are mostly gold in color. Accessories, Cosmetics In the Fire Nation, cosmetics appear to be a luxury, 
as only royalty and nobility have been seen wearing it. Azula's cosmetics and lipstick have more of a reddish color. Accessories, necklaces. Red and gold necklaces are common among men and women of the Fire Nation. Both Azula and Tai Li wore necklaces to Chan's party, and Suki and Katara also donned Fire Nation styled necklaces while masquerading as Fire Nation citizens. Accessories, headpieces. Headpieces are worn by many people in the world to adorn their otherwise bare topknots. These headpieces range from the humble headpieces worn by normal citizens to the golden fire pronged headpiece worn by the Fire Lord, which resembles ancient Chinese fashion. Fire Nation citizens often wear decorative headpieces in their top knots. The headpieces are only decorative, however, and in no way indicate rank or royalty. Zuko and Azula have both sported three pronged headpieces in the traditional flame shape. While in the Earth Kingdom, however, Azula wore a simple red headpiece, but later replaced it with a golden one upon returning home. Accessories Crown Prince Headpiece The Crown Prince headpiece is an ancient royal artifact of the Fire Nation, meant to be worn by the heir to the Fire Lord, who can be male or female. The crown has two prongs as opposed to the five-pronged headpiece of the Fire Lord. The headpiece is crafted into the shape of the Fire Nation insignia. The headpiece was passed down from generation to generation until it was inherited by Prince Sozin, who gave it to his friend, Avatar Roku. Roku kept it and wore it for the rest of his life. Years later, it was shown to be kept by Iroh, who had passed it on to Zuko. It is worn by placing it around the top knot, and it is held by a hairpin. Accessories, Fire Lord Headpiece. The Fire Lord's headpiece is an ancient royal artifact of the Fire Nation, meant to be worn by the Fire Lord, the absolute ruler of the nation. The headpiece is shaped like the Fire Nation insignia, except it possesses two additional prongs to make it appear like a crown. It is worn in a top knot. The royal headpiece has been passed down for many generations of the nation's history, from each Fire Lord to the next. The five sages initiate the crowning ceremony. The crown has been worn by at least seven Fire Lords, Sozin, Azulan, Ozai, Zuko, Izumi, and two whose names remain unknown. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.